Superfood Evolution presents Probiotics Defining the term probiotic Plus the difference between probiotic supplements versus probiotic foods What are probiotics? Within the human gastrointestinal tract, probiotics are often referred to as the health-friendly bacteria that are known to have a huge influence on our human physiology and overall long-term well-being. The words pro and biotic literally mean for life. This diverse array of gut microbiota are responsible for many functions including maintaining bowel regularity, synthesizing certain vitamins, regulating immune response, defending against pathogens, metabolism of certain carbohydrates, and much more. Most notably, they play a central role in the gut-brain axis, or the biochemical signaling that occurs between the GI tract and the central nervous system. It is identified that certain factors can throw off the optimal ratio of friendly bacteria to other species or fungal genre like Candida which can tend to overdominate when the body is in a weakened state or health is compromised. Some contributions to these potential intestinal imbalances may include poor dietary choices, emotional stress, exposure to chemicals, toxic buildup in the body, in addition to the widespread use of antibiotics. It has been recognized, however, that gut microbiota can be intentionally manipulated through specific diet regimens, as well as the intake of probiotic-rich food sources. In a 2017 journal article, it was acknowledged that one's diet is considered a main driver in influencing gut microbiota during the course of one's lifetime. Supplementing the diet with probiotic sources is now likewise gaining attention as a claimed way to support and maintain a healthy intestinal microbiome, a result that can help to protect the body from the increased incidence of autoimmune conditions as well as common digestive disorders. Although it is identified that more science is needed, in one published report in the Journal of Clinical Pharmacology, Cultured microorganisms, when given in adequate quantities for sufficient periods of time, are beneficial in many human disease conditions and safer than most pharmaceuticals. Dietary Sources of Probiotics The two most accepted dietary sources which can help encourage regular replenishment and diversity of beneficial gut bacteria include probiotic supplements and probiotic foods. While the intake of either can serve as a holistic, preventative approach to maintaining optimal health, it is important to understand that individuals may respond differently to both supplements and food-derived probiotics. It is therefore necessary to experiment for yourself and or seek the advice of your healthcare provider or nutritionist when needed. Dietary probiotic supplementation can be a beneficial adjunct to most common diet regimes. But what is the difference between probiotic powdered supplements and probiotic food sources? Probiotic supplements versus probiotic foods. What are probiotic supplements? One of the standard definitions of the term probiotics is described as live microorganisms, which when administered in adequate amounts, confer a health benefit on the host. Commonly, the generic term probiotic is often used to refer to probiotics in the form of a nutritional supplement, which typically includes the lactic acid bacteria from the genre Lactobacillus, Bifobacterium, Leuconostoc, and Streptococcus. These encapsulated supplement powders are basically selected and cultured in a laboratory, commonly from dairy, but vegan and soil-based sources are also available. The theory is that as a concentrated powder, there is greater opportunity for intestinal inoculation as well as choice of specific strains utilized. There are strict scientific guidelines for testing and probiotic products must list the strain genus, species, and strain level to qualify as a dietary probiotic supplement. Supplements are measured by something called CFU or 
colony forming units and can range anywhere from 5 billion CFU to 100 billion CFU per serving. As a major newly emerging industry in the last several decades, probiotic supplements are now largely marketed worldwide. As a result, many brands can greatly benefit from proprietary sponsorship and monetary backed research on specific strains and their benefits to human health and gut microbiota. Consequently, to date, there is therefore far less science available on probiotic food sources than supplement products. For a list of criteria and or things to consider when purchasing a probiotic brand, please see the card above or the description box below this video. What are probiotic foods? Probiotic strains are lactic acid bacteria that are also capable of transforming many food and liquid substrates into savory, pickled, or soured foods and drinks. These are probiotic foods, or fermented foods with a high probiotic activity, and have been traditionally prepared by human cultures worldwide for hundreds of years. Lactofermentation intrinsically protects food from harmful microbes and was historically utilized as a way to naturally preserve foods before other modern-day methods were invented. Some common examples of probiotic food ferments include miso, kefir, yogurt, sauerkraut, kimchi, pickles, kombucha, seed cheese, apple cider vinegar, and brine-cured olives. Live active cultures are present when these foods are consumed in their unpasteurized and uncooked state, not heated over 115 degrees Fahrenheit. Providing a diverse array of health-friendly bacteria, they are also pre-digested foods that are naturally high in enzymes and prebiotic food substrates, making them potentially easier to nutritionally absorb and utilize. Including a variety of fermented foods in the diet, is believed by many holistic health authorities to encourage a healthy gut microbiome. Author Sandor Katz in his book, The Art of Fermentation writes, it has been well established that bacteria can survive transit through the stomach's high acidity, particularly when buffered by food and in their passage through less densely populated regions of the digestive tract. The concept of fortifying the diet with probiotic-rich foods and drinks for their intestinal health benefits was first proposed by scientist Eli Metchnikoff. In his book, The Prolongation of Life, he promoted the theory that aging is caused by intestinal autointoxication, or toxic bacteria in the intestinal tract, and that the dietary use of foods rich in lactic acid bacteria could replace these microbes and potentially prolong one's lifespan. Many holistic health practitioners endorse taking probiotic supplements with active fermented foods, as this method is believed to encourage overall probiotic uptake. Probiotic powders are often likewise used to inoculate homemade cultured foods, like sauerkraut, to increase microbial strain diversity. Fermented foods not always approved as a probiotic. Like probiotic supplements, probiotic food products have recently become a fast-growing market trend, especially in the last decade. According to the nonprofit group International Scientific Association for Probiotics and Prebiotics, cultured foods do not always qualify as probiotics because it is difficult to characterize the types and amounts of microbes in fermented foods and testing for specific health benefits is limited. Despite the need for more fundamental research on fermented foods and their specific probiotic potentials, in a 2019 journal article review, they were proposed to be a probiotic carrier with health-promoting components. Most studies to date about the effectiveness of live-cultured probiotic foods have been done on yogurt. In some research on fermented dairy products and their impact on intestinal microbiota, it was suggested that yogurt, in particular, could be a means of modulating gut flora. We highly encourage making your own homemade fermented foods, like cultured vegetables and kefir. When purchasing fermented foods, look for the terms contains active or live cultures or list the probiotic strains on product labeling. Precautions 
Because some individuals may be at a higher risk for adverse effects after consuming probiotic supplements or foods, it is best to consult with your healthcare provider before adding them to one's daily diet. Seek the advice of your physician before using probiotics if pregnant, nursing, or if you have a serious medical condition or are taking any prescribed medications. Thanks for watching. For additional in-depth info, as well as the best sources of quality probiotics, be sure and investigate the links in the description box below this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful, and be sure and check out these other informational videos.